Hi, I'm Jay Haskamp. I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk by Frontier Precision. In today's session, we're going to show you how to apply an OPA solution to a point in Trimble Business Center. There are a few steps to this process. First, you'll need to submit your file to OPUS. In this instance, we're going to use the Trimble Access Services Data Processing Tool, which is available right in TBC. Then you will import your files, both the field files and the OPUS XML solution file. We will adjust the OPUS point quality. We will then rename the OPUS point and then finally merge the points into one solution. Let's take a look at how this process works. In the Trimble Business Center home screen, we'll start by choosing the link for Trimble Access Services. In the Trimble Access Services screen that appears, if we do not have an account, we do not need to log in. Simply locate the Navigate To pull-down menu in the upper right hand corner and change it from Sign In to Survey Tools. In the next screen you will see two tools available. Choose the Data Processing Tool. Once the Data Processing Tool loads, we are prompted to browse for the file that we wish to process. Choose the Browse button and locate the file that you want to process on your computer. This would typically be a static T01 or a T02 file that was collected in the field. Once you have your file chosen, hit the Next button and your file will be uploaded into the tool. Now you need to select a data processing service to send the file to. In this case, we're going to choose Opus Rapid Static and pick Next. Now we'll be able to review the file and make a couple modifications if needed. In this case, we're going to change the point name to number 1 and we're going to just verify that our manufacturer, type, measurement method, and height of our antenna are all correct. The last step is to key in your email address and pick the send button. The file will now be sent to Opus for processing. Once it says that the file has been completed, you can hit reset to send another file, or you can simply just close the tool and start a new TBC project by picking start new project from the list. In this example, we're going to use a survey foot template and pick OK. In this example, we are only going to bring in the static file that we collected and not the job file, so here we will first need to set our coordinate system that we want to work in by choosing the project settings icon in the top part of the screen. In the project settings window that appears, choose coordinate system from the left hand side of the screen and then choose change on the bottom. Here you can see a list of recently used coordinate systems that we can simply pick or we can choose coordinate system and zone to pick a new system from a list of predefined systems available. Once we have our coordinate system and our zone selected, we pick Next to continue and we can change our geoid model if needed. Once we are satisfied, we pick Finish and OK and now our project is set to the coordinate system that we want to work in. Then we drag and drop our static T01 file from the field into TBC and we get the raw data check in box. Here we can modify things like the point ID, we can check the file name, start time, end time, duration, and we can also double check the manufacturer, the antenna, and the height information before we actually import the file into the project. If we want to import the file we pick OK and now our point will appear in the project. Now we want to open the email that we received from Opus that contains our solution and review the data and make sure it looks correct. Then grab the Opus XML attachment to the email and simply drag and drop it directly into TBC and our point will be imported into the project as well. Now you can see we have two points in this drawing. We have our static observation in the field and we have our solution from Opus. I can do a quick check on these by inversing between the two points. And in this example, you can see that they are roughly 7.7 .7 feet away from each other. Now we need to set the quality of our opus point to control so that when we merge the two together, the opus quality or the opus position will hold. To do this, open up your Project Explorer and expand the Points menu. Here you will see the two points listed in the project. And if you expand the opus solution point, you will see a little gammon rail symbol showing the position from the imported XML file. Select the XML file on the screen and right click and choose properties. In the properties box you can choose the icons next to the coordinates and choose control quality from the list and then scroll down to the bottom and choose close to close the properties box. Notice now that your point has a triangle symbol around it indicating that it's control quality. You can also recompute the project at this time if needed. Back in the project explorer right click on the opus point and choose properties. In the Properties box, change the name to number 1, which will exactly match the imported T01 file. 
When you do this, you will get a message saying that that point ID already exists and it asks you what you wish to do. Choose the Merge Points button to merge the two points together. Now you will see your field observation merged to your Opus solution and you can recompute the project to save the changes. And that concludes our tech talk on applying an Opus solution to a point in Trimble Business Center. We hope that you found this beneficial and will join us again next time. Thank you.